William Grayson was born in 1739 at Bel Air Plantation, Woodbridge, Virginia. His parents were Benjamin and Susan Monroe Grayson. He went to school at the University of Pennsylvania. He attended the University of Oxford, where he graduated with a law degree. After college, he practiced law in Prince William County, Virginia. Grayson mingled with many notable founding fathers of the United States, like George Mason and George Washington. His family had many successful connections. His cousin was James Monroe. He married Eleanor Smallwood, sister of William Smallwood, the governor of Maryland, and they had five children. Grayson volunteered when the American Revolutionary War began. He was an aide to George Washington, and he was promoted to lieutenant colonel. Grayson recruited Grayson's regiment and fought in the Philadelphia campaign. Grayson served in other forms during the war. He was on a commission dealing with war prisoners in 1778, and in 1779, he resigned to serve on the Congressional Board of War. He was an original member of the Society of Cincinnati, which was formed by Continental Army officers. After the war, Grayson was part of the Confederational Congress in 1785 and 1787. He helped pass the Northwest Ordinance and a provision that prohibited slavery in the Northwest Territory. He opposed the ratification of the new United States Constitution in 1788. He thought the Constitution wasn't enough for either the federal side or the state side. With the help of Patrick Henry, Grayson was elected to the United States Senate and served there until he died. He was one of two senators who opposed ratification. He died on March 12, 1790. He was the first senator of the United States to die in office. I hope you've enjoyed learning about William Grayson. He was a Revolutionary War soldier and had influence on the formation of the United States of America, even though he did have disagreements. What is his connection to Kentucky? Grayson, Kentucky, and Grayson County, the 54th County of Kentucky, were named after William Grayson. Also, his grandson, William Grayson Carter, was a Kentucky State Senator. Another grandson was Confederate General John Breckenridge Grayson. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.